Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the global shortage of Raspberry Pis in the market today. So if you've been out there looking for a Raspberry Pi, I'm sure you've come to the realization that they're extremely hard to come by right now. Retailers that were working directly with the Raspberry Pi Foundation have now completely sold out of Raspberry Pi products. So you can still get them in a couple places, but they're going for insane prices. They're going for sometimes double or triple the price that they originally sold for just a couple months before. Amazon's got a super small inventory left of these, but they're totally jacking the prices up. I saw a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, 4 gigabyte RAM, which typically that computer board would be in that $55 to $65 price point. I just saw a bunch of them listed and they were selling out super quickly on Amazon for $155. So that's a crazy markup. Um, I think they're back down a little bit from that, but not much. You can get them on eBay, but they're gonna be typically used on eBay and they're selling still for um, about 50% markup from what they originally sold for. So a lot of people are wondering what's going on with this. So I actually touched on this a little bit a few months ago when I did a video on the Raspberry Pi Foundation's plans for the Raspberry Pi 5, and I talked about the hardware component shortage. So basically what happened was the COVID-19 pandemic hit, which was almost two years ago now, which is crazy to me that we're already at that two year mark. Um, I think right after the holidays is when everything started getting a little dicey here in the United States. And then, you know, different parts of the world experienced it at different times, but it has hit everybody and impacted everybody in the entire world at this point. So what ended up happening was production started to slow down. Manufacturers that were manufacturing these at rapid speeds at one point, once the pandemic hit, they anticipated a decline in sales and demand. So what they ended up doing was they slowed down production, anticipating sales to go down. And what ended up happening was we went into lockdown. People were no longer leaving the house. So they had a lot more time to play with Raspberry Pis um, do a bunch of coding with them, do all the different projects that you can do with a Raspberry Pi computer board. And then of course there's RetroPie. So people started gaming on these and sales just went through the roof. So while they were anticipating sales to decline, it actually just skyrocketed. So right off the bat, they started putting these out the door a lot quicker than they were producing them. So eventually with that process, you're gonna get to a point where you've now sold the majority of your inventory. Um, and we still have all these different COVID-19 protocols and uh, regulations right now with different manufacturers. So they can only have a certain amount of people in factories at one time manufacturing these. They have to be you know, six feet apart or whatever the um, you know, standard is in these facilities. So they still can't produce them at the speed that they used to be able to produce them at. So I don't anticipate this ending anytime soon. I think that there's still going to be uh, a long period of time where we have to wait for the um, production of these to really catch up and get back to normal. And, you know, people are still using these. So it's not like it was a flash in the pan and people uh, were at home and they were using Raspberry Pi and they no longer want it. Now people are aware of it. They've told all their friends. So now it's become this big thing where everybody wants one. So I think we're probably going to be experiencing this for at least another year, maybe even longer before everything gets back to normal and everything gets caught up. And of course, that's you know, dependent on COVID-19 staying, you know, where it is right now or getting better, which, you know, who knows? We don't know if it's going to get better or if it, you know, might decline again in the uh, winter months here in the United States. There's just no way to tell. So that's what the issue is here. That's why there's this um, lack of Raspberry Pis out there in the market today. And that's also why Raspberry Pi Foundation has slowed down on their plans to actually go to the next level. They originally wanted to do another version of the Raspberry Pi 4 and of course jump into the Raspberry Pi 5. With these shortages, I don't see that happening for at least another year, maybe even two years. So that's where we're at you know, with everything right now. But um, you know, it's an unfortunate situation, but with COVID-19, you know, I, I can't say that I'm surprised to you know, be at the point where we're experiencing issues like this. So um, the good news is though, if you have a Raspberry Pi product that you're no longer using and you're looking to get rid of, there's no better time than right now to list it on eBay or Amazon or wherever you want to try to sell it. I guarantee you, you're going to make some money on it. Like I said, people are making um, sometimes 100% on their original price that they paid for the Raspberry Pi product. So there's a, it's a great opportunity for those of you that are looking to sell what you already have and you're no longer using. So definitely um, get on that if that's what you're looking to do. But that's going to do it for this video today. I've been getting a lot of questions, people asking me what's going on with the Raspberry Pi market these days. Um, a lot of people have been asking me for recommendations as to where they can actually get a Raspberry Pi product, and I've made recommendations, and 
everywhere that I've recommended people to now seems to be completely sold out. So best of luck if you're looking for a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, they're definitely out there. It's just going to be, you know, a little bit tricky to actually find them right now. You might have to get on a wait list on some of these websites, but you know, it will eventually get better and we will eventually have them back in stock everywhere, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to do that because we do a ton of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials, all that good stuff. So hit the subscribe button. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.